I mean, we came from states away with our cars and trucks filled up to the ceiling and the backs of the trucks and all these boxes that we, oh, we didn't mark them all. <laughs> what do we do with all this stuff? And somehow, because we have miraculous people here, amazing friends, amazing family who love Livia and Jarrett and uh, are so talented in their own right that uh, everybody figured it out. I mean, and look, look how beautiful this setting is. And Beth, I have to say, where are you, Beth? Uh, you know, and I cannot believe that that is the first wedding you ever officiated because, um, you know, it, it just seems like something you've done so many times. It was absolutely perfect. And I know it's because you know and love uh, Jarrett and Olivia so much and, and know so much of their lives, but I, I really appreciate that and want to thank you so much. And um, so, yes, yes. Um, uh, I have, yeah, I have some notes too. So I, I wanted to talk about when, when I first knew that I absolutely loved Jarrett. And I, I think it might have actually been the first time we met. And it was my birthday and Olivia had me come over for um, eggplant parmesan. I remember you made eggplant oh, yeah, parmesan. Yeah. And Jarrett came out of the shower and his hair was about down to here and it was <laughs> wet. And I said, oh, can I braid your hair? <laughs> and he said, yeah. And he sat down in front of me and I actually French braided his hair. <laughs> I'm like, so now here's this guy, he's got a French braid, we had our eggplant parmesan, and, and he wore it the whole time, and then he said he had to go out and meet up with some friends, and I'm looking at him like, aren't you going to take the hair out? He's like, no, I like it, I'm going to wear it. I'm like, that's my kind of guy, I like it. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, Olivia, we all know what an amazing person she is. Um, you know, she's just the kind of person that when she walks into a room, she just lights up the room, she just sparkles and shines. And she may be uh, daddy's little girl, but she's mommy's baby. <laughs> <laughs> always will be. And you know, Olivia has always been very strong-willed. Um, and she's always been very compassionate and always had very healing hands and a very healing heart. And um, I wanna share something that no one else I don't think has ever witnessed, but you might not remember even. And I've told a couple of people, I know my sister knows, her dad probably knows, I know I told you about this, but uh, I'm gonna bring a little bit of spirituality into this, because that's something that's important to me. And I think of you as my angel. And when you were like three years old, she used to sit, now this just happened kind of randomly, but kind of often, that she would sit at the foot of her bed when it was bedtime, and I'd turn the lights out, and we were getting ready to go to bed, and she would sit, and I have to do this with my hands, and she would talk to unforeseen forces and she would put her arms up in the air and she'd say, there's so much love and we all just need to love each other's and we just bring it down and we just bring it into our hearts and then we just put it back out and we just love each other's. <laughs> and I wanted to put a tape recorder on that but I knew I'd break the spell <laughs> because there was something very special happening there. And you know, it said that nurses are angels on this earth, angels without wings. And I really do believe she was destined for the work that she's doing and that she was bringing in that spirit. And you know, angels, they're not just these light, fluffy, fairy little beings with wings. They are fierce. Angels have the ability to destroy and create worlds. And they connect us with the better parts of ourselves. And that's part of the healing that they do. So Olivia's my angel. So what does that say about Jared? Well, as a mother, you hope, you believe, you pray that your daughter will find somebody who can love her and be compassionate for her and be there in her most vulnerable moment, moments, somebody who can be just fiercely there to protect her. And I'll tell you, there was a defining moment where I had no doubt, Jarrett, that you were that man. And we had gotten some very, very hard news about a family member. And Olivia sat on our hearth and she cried like her heart was broken into a million pieces. And Jarrett took those giant hands that he has and he put them on the side of his, her head and he just like enveloped her whole head. And he sat there for 30 minutes like that without saying a word, without moving, just holding her head while she wept her heart out. 
and I had no doubt from <laughs> at that moment that my daughter was in the very, very best of hands. So Jared, thank you for loving my daughter, for being there to fiercely protect her. I know, I know that you'll always be there for her. And, you know, it's no surprise because Jared was raised by an angel. And what does that say about Jeff? <laughs> Yeah, I did. did I say Jarrett was raised by Yes, you, yes, because yeah, you yeah, you're the man who fiercely loves her. Yeah, you said the right thing. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I yeah. question no, you myself. <laughs> so I just want to say I'm so excited about the future of our families uniting together and all the just celebrations we're going to have and the children <laughs> that we're going to be able to celebrate. So I'd like to raise our glasses to angels in disguise. Oh, I need my glass. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>